Morning, Midge. Another fine day at the races, huh? Oh, hey, Kevin. Still can't believe we hit four out of ten on our predictor meter. <sighs> Today is gonna be a great day. Yeah, definitely. Hey, psst. Huh? Psst. Kevin, Midge, over here. Uh, I think that trash can is talking to us. Hello, trash can. Kevin, oh, thank God. It's me, Pylon. Oh, well, what's with the, uh, trash can? Yeah, I've got a thing going on. You can't see my face. Oh. Like a pimple? No, I mean, uh, literally, you can't see my face. What are you talking about? Okay, look, but don't shout, okay? Gah! Who took your face? Kylan, are you okay? Yeah, uh, but I keep scaring little kids. We need to get you to someone fast. You two don't catch occasional bugs? Usually, I just sleep them off. Do you remember where you last saw your face? If we act quick, we can find it before someone runs over it. Well, my face is still here. I just can't see it. The internet said it was probably a non-manifold topology issue. Or maybe inverted face syndrome. Inverted faces are totally a normal problem, right? Pylon, nothing about this is normal. That's not what the internet said. We have to get you to a hospital. Like, now. Hold up. Uh, company meeting, folks. Ten o'clock, remember? Don't wait around for that. Kevin, isn't Pylon your best friend? Definitely, and I'm sure he would do the same for me. Oh, hey, do you still have your wisdom teeth? Wild. Stop looking at my wisdom teeth. Look, I can't go anywhere right now. My insurance card is in the studio, and I can't go inside like this. What? Here, put this on. Let's go find it. Kevin, you wait here with the car. Ah, I feel more normal already. Nope, we're not allowed in this cabinet. I didn't want to look at it anyway. I'm too busy with this to even look up at you. These file cabinets are actually empty. Francine has all the real files. Hurry up and get your insurance card. We don't want to get stuck here during the company meeting. I can't leave yet. I need my insurance card. I should check my desk. Good morning, New England. This is the Dice Bag, where we talk randomly about games, films, pop culture, and occasionally local events. All right, so here's a new story for you, Breeze. We need to repaint here still. That fire did a number on us. Pylon, what the heck are you... No, wait. I don't actually want to hear about it. Oh, hey. Uh, you cosplaying as something? Uh, yeah, but it's a secret. Okay, then. Have fun with that, dude. The company foam dark guns are kept locked away in here. Only brought out in times of war. No time for a snack now. I've got to fix my face before I stuff my face. Ooh, Hugbot color dots. I forgot we had this stuff back here. This is a Canadian spider moose. They only have six legs, though, so they aren't a real spider. What's wrong with your head? Uh, nothing. Cool. Just checking. Midge keeps her desk pretty clean. 
That's the side of a completely trustworthy person. Pylon, is that you in there? Yeah, my dog, it feels chilly, okay? We lost a lot of stuff in the fire last week, but amazingly, every computer was fine. Astounding. It smells pretty smoky back here, <coughs> but at least the TV works. I wonder if anyone has noticed my stash up there yet. Timothy, my man, does this ski mask look good on me? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Now would be the perfect time to prank Kevin's desk. But I have things to do and he tends to not notice pranks anyway. I'm not sure what made me think of it, but Poker Night isn't as much fun these days. If this door had a voice, it would say, Open me, Pylon. Fulfill your destiny. Spooky stuff, huh? This microwave isn't plugged in, so why is it blinking? I gotta play this thing. I'm stress gaming.
My insurance card should be here, but I don't see it anywhere. I should look around. Hey, Timothy, have you seen my insurance card? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Thanks for the hat, Midge. Yeah, I always have a few of them in the car. You know, New England winners and all that. <laughs> hey, Joan. I've lost my insurance card. Have you seen it? No. Have you asked Francine? She's the HR person after all. Hey, Viper, have you, uh, seen my insurance card? What? No. Why would I care about that? Hey, Ben! Have you seen my insurance card? Uh, no. That's not a good thing to lose, dude. Yeah, I know. Francine, have you seen my insurance card? I think I lost it. As a matter of fact, I did. In the microwave. You don't happen to know how it got there, do you? Oh, uh, right. Sorry, that was an experiment. You know us tech artists. Always tinkering. Well, tinker with something less important. Those cards are a pain to replace. I left it in the kitchenette for you. Noted. And thanks. This door calls to me in my sleep, but I don't like to talk about that. Are you sneaky insurance card? Circle up, everyone. Weekly meeting time. Oh, no. They're starting. All right, everyone. Let's get started. So, we officially reached a four on that uh, score meter thing. I don't really know what that means, but I assume you all do. And I'm disappointed in you. What? We've never gotten a meter that high before. We can't even figure out how we did it. You all know how surveys work. Anything less than a perfect score means we're leaving money on the table, team. Hey, who is that? It's me, Pylon. Yeah, he has in no way whatsoever proved that he is Pylon. Viper, stop that. Yeah, that's Pylon. He just wanted to wear a mask today. You could be anyone under there. You could even be a corporate spy. Ooh, or a real spy. Just take off the mask already. Why? What if he's cold? That's spy logic. He's definitely a spy. Why would anyone spy on us? No reason. No reason at all. I got him! Here! Slippery bastard. Stop it, Viper. That hurt. Ah! Ah! Holy crap! What is that? Ah! Everyone calm down. It's fine. Yeah, it's me. Dude, what happened? Stay back, Ben. Never trust anything without skin. It's a faceless spy thing. It's here to espionage us. Don't let him touch me. Ah, he will poison me. Oh, no. Who do you work for? The FBI? VSSE? I'll uppercut the answers out of him. Where is Pylon? I am Pylon. <sighs> I'll get the flamethrower. No time. Use this. Pylon, run. Back. Stop squirming around! Oh, no. hey. uh, watch it! Stop squirming around!
here, you faceless thing! Highland, hang in there! Run away! Stop squirming around! Run away! was close. Got the insurance card, though. Ah, great. So, where to? Well, I think I need to see a technical doctor. Aren't you a technical doctor? I'm a technical artist. We have less letters after our name, and we're much more sensitive. Hey, uh, if I get this thing fixed, you think they'll be nice to me back there? Who, Viper? He's not nice to anyone. Onward to the technical doctor. Man, that was terrifying. I thought I was going to have to step in there for a moment. Whew, I will have nightmares about that for months. You should get a bat. No one messes with anyone with a bat. Well, no, that was Pylon, right? He was sick and needed help. Pylon? Is that the skinny green guy? <laughs> Didn't look like him to me. Mitch, it almost sounded like you were aiding the enemy. It was Pylon! I'm watching you, okay? You know, most of them did look green, y'all. Well, whoever it was, they're gone now. Good riddance, the monster. Hopefully, they'll be fine. Oh, hey, Midge. Someone left a letter for you this morning. Really? I... Uh, I don't think anyone even knows I work here yet. Well, whatever it is, it was dropped off by some guy with a big umbrella. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll, um... I'll go have a look. Right. Let's see what this is. Meet today, Southwest Alley, 1 p.m. Come alone. This can't be good. No, you don't have inverted face syndrome. But I looked it up. All internet roads lead to inverted face. You probably just have rigonitis. For liability purposes, that's not an official diagnosis. But rigonitis didn't even come up on the list. <laughs> You're a game developer, right? I don't look up how to make games on the internet, now do I? Yes, that's how you get into game debt. But just tell me how to fix it, Doc. Oh, it should clear up on its own within a few days, maybe a couple of weeks. That's not official advice, or else you'd need to sign an indemnification waiver. A couple of weeks? Come on, that'll take a million years! Well, now that I think about it, there is a procedure that a specialist could do. Uh, that's not a referral, or else I'd have to charge you a referral fee. Ooh, tell me about it! Unfortunately, your insurance doesn't cover any specialists. Or the procedure. Or this visit, really. Then who pays you? Mr. Pylon, please calm down. I know it's complicated, but- You just told me you can't help me. That's because you need to see a specialist. Who I can't even pay for. Your insurance doesn't cover elective procedures. My face is not elective. Whoa, are we going? Uh, okay. What was that all about? Rigonitis? Does this look like rigonitis to you? Oh, that stuff is great with Alfredo sauce. I know it's inverted face syndrome. I'm not some uneducated mass here. I know how to vet my sources. 
Excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. You seem to have a problem that is technical in nature, yes? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, who are you? I am someone who can help. What if I told you I knew of other ways to solve technical problems? You seem really, really shady. Thank you. Here, take my card and tell me. Did you speak to a doctor today? I sure did. They told me they couldn't help me. This is too bad. If only there was someone who could help you in this time of trouble. Huh? I mean to say there are others beyond that doctor or this system. Uh, you mean Canada? Oh, that's a great idea. What? No, that's not what I meant. Right, Canada, let's go! Onward to government-run healthcare, my friend. Thanks, shady stranger. So, uh, how do we get to Canada? That's easy. We go up. Canada is always up of us. But we can't drive there. That'd be absurd. Yeah, that's how they get you. Right. We'll take the sewers, Pylon. Let's go. Mm -hmm.